What up guys, it's Chris. Today's a super exciting day. Um, we're gonna be unboxing my Grand MA3 Command Win. I just purchased this about a week ago from a local company to the New England area. They're called High Output. Uh, wouldn't, couldn't recommend them enough. Um, so yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into this unboxing here. I already untaped it, uh, so it'll be a little easier for us to kind of get into this. Wow, right off the bat, one huge command line. Let's see if we can take this out right away. Wow, a lot bigger than the MA2 Command Wing uh, that I had never owned. But uh, yeah, first impressions, this is uh, really nice. This is, this is pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a quick look at what else is in the box. It does come with a uh, IEC cable, a walking IEC cable, which is kind of nice. I uh, wouldn't have minded seeing a true one uh, on the back, but you know, it is what it is. At least it's a nice uh, proper Hubble connector as opposed to a, a weird molded one. Uh, another nice touch I thought was uh, the MA branded USB cable. Um, God forbid you ever lose this one, it'll probably cost you an arm and a leg to replace, but fortunately these are out in the wild for pretty cheap. Looks like we have the dust cover in here. Thankfully this was included with the purchase. And I think the last thing is the uh, quick manual. Um, what I will say is that a desk light is not included in just the command wing. So I did go ahead So I did go ahead and purchase one uh, separately. This was about $210 um, for just the little light and the velvet cover there. So here is a little bit closer uh, of a look at the command wing itself. You can see the 10 uh, motorized playback faders here. Uh, our two main faders and the go buttons, five exit, uh, sorry, encoder wheels, and these little weird buttons that push in that I have no idea what to do with yet. And uh, the main kind of key layout here. I don't mind these buttons. They're a little different than MA2 for sure, but I, I, I quite like these. Uh, the dimmer wheel and stuff, and probably the thing that I dislike the most is uh, this is my Grandmaster fader here, which is not really much of a fader. It's more of a uh, rotary dial hoo-ha. So here we are all set up at the desk. Uh, excuse the kind of ghetto monitor stand. It's just like a pencil bin that's flipped over right now. Just uh, something to get the main monitor up a bit more. But uh, yeah, this is uh, coming together quite well. Um, I've only been into MA3 software for uh, the day, and that's what I got so far. A couple Auras and a couple Vipers. So if you take a look at the computer over here, um, I still have my ME2 node. I uh, don't think I'm gonna sell that or anything. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit. And I still have my uh, DMX King Artnet box, which might come in handy um, with this guy, as it only has two physical DMX outs on the back. It has a DMX in, which you could certainly turn around um, to have, you know, three universes or whatever. But if you were ever doing like a bigger show or something, um, you would have to use uh, this guy to help. So, yeah. Um, so that's it for now. That's the update. Um, definitely going to give you guys a little more video once I 
once I kind of get into MA3 a little bit more, I'll give you guys more of an update from there. But, um, but yeah, this is it for today.